So malapit nang ang Christmas, yeah hey. So that means it's time to decorate. But today we're gonna do something different. Maybe you're wondering, ano ba to, di ba? So I explain ko yan mamaya because I asked the kids to decorate and design their own Christmas tree. So that's what we're gonna do today. Welcome back to Teach with Joy. First, draw the design on a paper as you conceptualize how to get it done. You can sand the wood and then paint it three to four layers of white paint, letting each layer dry, and then get all the kids involved. It doesn't have to be perfect. The older ones can go over the mistakes of the younger ones. And of course, have fun. Don't worry about the mistakes along the way. That's part of the experience. Sige, so let's talk about what we're going to need for this project, okay? So, Nakita niyo to, actually plywood lang to. One half inch plywood, two pieces. Binili ko yung one half inch kasi mas mura siya sa three fourths. And then I have rollers here for the paint, different size brushes. Pero yung iba nito, this was already my tools from before. So it's not like you have to buy new tools. You can use stuff that's already in your house. Different shades of brown, black, and then also flat white latex. All the paint is water based. It has to be water-based since the kids will be handling it. It's water-based and it's toxic. And then there's um, wall putty also because you'll see cracks and imperfections. Parang expert ako sa ano construction pero hindi ako expert na. <laughs> this one is something we already had at home. It's a sander. Kasi kung uh, isa santo, you're just using sandpaper matagal siya. And this is a tool that I already have. And then don't be scared, but look. A saw! Okay, so for the saw, of course, kailangan ng supervision or you can get daddy to do it or somebody else in the household na mas confident, an older sibling. Actually, ako, I like to saw, pero I don't know. Yung ibang mga mommies doon kung <laughs> okay lang sa inyo. And then I also got these for the little kids. These are gel pens. It's almost like crayons, but like a more sophisticated crayon. So it's easier for, do, for them to do the decorating. There you have it, and then make sure you have your tissue on hand because it's going to be messy. And whatever clothes your kids are wearing, make sure that it's okay for it to get messy. Anyway, it's water-based, you can wash it after. So yun, let's get started kids, come on. Just outline everything first and as you can see it's not perfect and that's part of the fun it's just allow them to be creative do their own thing you can supervise the younger ones but we outlined it so it's a little bit easier for them to fill in the different shapes yes good job this is my son Ida and he was kind of the mastermind behind this Christmas tree idea. So how'd you come up with the idea? Well, um, I based off this idea from what we've done in previous Christmas themes. Our mom likes very geometric and modern style, mm -hmm. so we incorporated that here. The design that we used changed along the way because we learned together because at first I was being really strict with everyone and I wanted a specific design. But through the mistakes, and you might see some of them, um, we learned together the importance of, you know, forgiving. working around each other's mistakes and forgiving. Yes. And this is an important lesson for me today. Thanks, and son. it turned out great. Yeah, great. yeah. It's going to get even better as we finalize everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's so fun to do it with you. <laughs> so there you have it. We're almost done. Ang saya. I'm so happy. The kids did a great job. And here are some tips. Number one, we involve nyo yung older kids to help do the research. They can go online to get ideas so that they can also supervise the younger ones. Number two, make sure when it comes to using the more dangerous tools like a saw, the kids are not unsupervised. And number three, 
Be involved yourself, like I did this with the kids because I wanted it to be a bonding experience that they would remember, not just for now, but even into the future, and take lots of photos and videos to remember what you guys did together. All right, so we're done, and if you like this episode, like and comment below, and of course, please share your ideas with us as well. We want to learn from each other, and we'll see you again on the next episode of Teach With Joy.